Hello everybody. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have some agates that I want to cut. They are from a random rock bin from the rock shed in Keystone, South Dakota. There'll be a link to their website below. Check them out. And here are the ones I'm talking about. We got nine of them and I have no idea what they are or where they're from. They were just in a random bin called random agates. So that'll be fun. As you're watching the video and I'm cutting these, uh, if you see something you want to point out, think is neat or looks like something, um, leave a timestamp and let me know what you're thinking. If you enjoy the video, subscribe, give it a like, share it. All that good stuff helps out. Let's get to cutting. Also, new saw blade. Woohoo! First one up. I think we're going to start small. So, see, we got some bands here. And there's some character here. So, we're just going to go right down the middle. Man, that new blade cuts like a hot knife through butter. Oh, nice. All right. We got these bands here. Now you can really see them when they're wet. There. What do we got? Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at them bands. A bit of quartz there on the left side. Kind of need some green up top there. Some real fine banding there. Very neat. Man, I really like that one. Next one, we'll do this round nodule. I looked and I cannot see any visible banding or anything anywhere. So truly have no idea what to expect. So we're just gonna cut it down the middle and we'll find out. Got yeah, through it. Now what's in it? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that was not what I was expecting. Oh my goodness. Look at that quartz, little quartz crystals, almost like a little geode. And then bands around there, kind of orange, yellow, and... Oh, man. Oh, check that out. You know, it had this little, whatever, dealio bob here, and the bands went down and around it. That is just neat. Wow. Well, so far, I'd say we're doing pretty good. All right, now we know we got bands on this one. We can just see them and they kind of go all the way around. So I think for now, hmm, I'm not quite sure. Thinking maybe we'll just kind of go this way. Alrighty. See what's in this one. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's actually got. Uh, wow, is that. Uh, see how this right here, this banding, it's kind of like when you tilt it, it moves. Is that I think an agate dad calls it parallax banding, maybe. And that is neat. Bands. 
Oops. That's neat. All right. So far, we're doing pretty good today. Okay, for the next one, it's very square. And it's got bands along the sides. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, and then this, and then this, and then this. And I'm going to make a square out of it, but we'll reveal it and look at each side as we go. Ooh -wee. That one took a while, a lot longer than I thought it would. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I have a feeling there's a lot more bands in there than a person thinks. All right. Okay, let's get another side. Man, this thing is hard. It's like I'm cutting a Montana agate. Hey, looks pretty close to the same. There's a little bit of a channel goes in there. Kind of neat. All right, now we'll cut off the sides. Well, I think we pretty much know what it's gonna look like on this side too. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I made a little cube, kinda, paperweight, something, I don't know. That's yeah, kinda neat. done playing with that one let's see what else we got why don't we do this one next um, here it looks like maybe we have some waterline banding on the bottom there and some banding here so we're gonna cut it right down there and we can get both this one took a little bit too although I'll admit they're kind of big but it'll handle it anyway what do we got Hey! <laughs> All right, we got some waterline banding, quartz in the middle. That's pretty. Banding around the outside. Let's do another small one. This one's got some bands on the end there. Uh, if this was solid, I wish it was. It has a kind of a divot in there, but the bands there. Try and bring it right down across there. Man, I wouldn't think that this blade is getting dull already, but it took me five minutes to get through this little thing. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what's in there. Hey, there's some bands. It's real dark. It's got some of this green stuff that went down in there. It's kind of neat. See what else we got. I think we'll do this one next. 
got some bands there on the end, so we're just gonna take a cut across there. And here we are. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that is pretty. Wow. I really like that. A little red down there is kind of neat. I like it. Next up, I think we're gonna do this one. You can see it's got some banding on it. Huh. <laughs> got some cards. There's some kind of, there's some pretty bands in there. Kind of brownish. Got some later stuff, some reds. Almost looks whitish blue. Pretty. Last one. Got some bands and a quartz pocket there. So I think we're gonna go right down there. See if we can expose that face better. How are we gonna end it? Oh wow. I'd say we're ending it pretty dang good. <laughs> Look at that. Man, you can see some depth into that too. That is neat. I really enjoy a bunch of those. Um, I'd say some of my favorites would be this one. And this one. I really enjoyed this one. It's got some of that parallax banding. I think it's parallax banding. But I think my favorite is probably this guy. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which is your favorite and what you think of all of them. We'll get another look here at the end as usual. We hope you're doing well and we'll see you guys on the next one.